All right, guys. Today I had mentioned you to you guys a while back ago how to blow some bubbles. We're gonna be using some water bottles. Okay, make sure you clean them. They're empty. Uh, I have a container here with some water, and we have dish soap. You can use uh, laundry soap if you have, or powder soap. But we're using dish soap. So what you want to do is you want to get some scissors. Make sure you uh, have an adult use the scissors for you, unless you have smaller scissors that you can use, uh, the student scissors. My children cannot use these scissors, so I will be cutting these. Uh, so yeah, make sure you have an adult cut the water bottle. So what you do is take the top off, take the cap off, you're not going to need it. Make sure you throw it in the trash and you're going to cut half of the water bottle okay, down the middle. Okay, that's one. Okay, make sure it's nice and round. There's no pointy stuff on it. Okay, there's a little point here. We'll cut that off. All right, that's one. Okay, we'll take the top off again. Cut half of the water bottle. You can smash it a little bit and then just put it back together how it was. Okay, just like that. Okay, we have the other one. Okay, here you go, Danny. All right, there you go. This soap, make sure you pour it in. Pour quite a bit. Okay, pour quite a bit. If it doesn't end up making bubbles, make sure you end up putting more dish soap. So what you want to do with your bubble blower is shake it a little bit to mix up all the soap and the water. Start making some suds, making some bubbles here. Alright, once you got nice and foamy here, then we can try it. Okay, it's a little bit windy outside, so it's a little bit difficult. But if you're inside, it should be work. It should be working good. Danny, you can try it. Let's try it again. Papa, muted. Oh, it's not working that well. Oh, there it is. Okay, so what you want to do is make sure you blow the air slowly, and then once you've got a nice bubble, pull it, pull the water bottle off, so the bubble can. Uh, be cut off okay and we cut it there you go blow cut it blow cut it all right there you go daddy go ahead and try it go ahead and try it okay me is turn two me give me a water bottle all right so make sure you blow nice and easy and then cut it you can try to make the you can try to compete to see who makes the biggest bubble if you guys are inside, indoors, it would be easier. Or if there's not a lot of wind blowing outside, again, it would be easier. Right now, it's really windy, so the bubbles are starting to pop real quick, so they don't last that long. So, try that. Thank you. Give me an empty one with no water. One right there with no water, no water. There you go. That's a big one. All right, guys. Uh, we made our own homemade uh, bubble blowers. Make sure you guys clean up after you guys are done with everything, uh, especially this dish full of soap. Make sure you guys help wash the dishes. All right, you can use this soapy water to wash some of the dishes. It's clean water with soap, so you guys can use it to wash the dishes. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoy uh, and have fun. Bibble and the Bubbles by Alice Hemming. Bobby blew lots of bubbles. Some of the bubbles popped. Some of the bubbles floated up, up, up into the sky. Where did they go? Bibble lived in space, millions of miles away. Bibble liked catching bubbles. One day, the bubbles stopped. Bibble wanted to find, to find out why. Bibble built a bubble spaceship. He went to find the bubbles. Bibble landed in Bobby's garden. What's your name? asked Bobby. Bibble, said Bibble. My name is Bobby, said Bobby. Bibble made a little bubble spaceship for Bobby. It was just like the one he came to Earth in. When there was no bubble mix left, Bobby and Bibble made some more. Bobby and Bibble blew lots of bubbles. Bibble made bubble animals and even rode a bubble bicycle. 
Bobby and Bibble had lots of fun. Then Bibble had to go home. Bobby waved goodbye. He felt sad. But Bibble left a special gift, a bubble that didn't pop. Now Bobby feels happy. Maybe Bibble will come back one day. All right, guys, there's a small quiz right here at the end. So first question, where does Bibble live? In space, in a shed, in a forest. Number two, what does Bibble build? A, a bubble house, B, a bubble car, C, a bubble spaceship. <laughs> Number three, why does Bibble leave Bobby? A, he goes to visit a friend. B, he wants to find more bubbles. C, he has to go home. Four, what present does Bibble leave for Bobby? A, a bubble bicycle. B, a bubble that does not pop. C, a bubble hat. And number five, why does Bibble visit Bobby? He wants to know where bubbles come from. B, he wants to make new friends. Or C, he wants to make some bubble mixture. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the story and make lots of bubbles.